Hey, second graders. All right, so we have our insect research page. This is like the planning page that we had for our donut writing. Remember how we planned it all out sort of? This is our research and then we'll put it together in a nice kind of tidy package in a, in a little report. But this is where we're keeping track of all of the information we find either in books on Epic or I know some kids are getting books from the library. Mrs. Wilmer will get you books from our library for the next pickup if you'd like. Um, I want you, oh, websites. I have some websites for kids. So I want you to try to find more information. I would like a bunch of stuff under each of these areas. Um, lots of interesting facts on the back, okay? So today I want you to make some progress. If you don't have anything on here, you have to catch up. You get like, try to get like two things in each area at least. If you already had some things, try to at least get one more thing for each area today, okay? We're just gonna make some good progress. Um, and that means doing some reading and then writing it down, all right? And then remember on the back somewhere, write down the name of the book or the website that you're finding your information, um, that where you're getting your information from, okay? So behavior, remember, is how your insect acts. We hear the word behavior like, you need to have good behavior or you're having bad behavior, like, um, we hear it in that context a lot, but behavior is, is just the things that someone does or an insect does, how they act, okay, what they do. So what types of things does your insect do? How do they live their life? What do they, like, I'm thinking about bees. You could write about um, how bees, there are different types of, there's worker bees, there's the queen bee, and depending on your job as a bee, you do different things, right? Some of the bees take care of the, the infant bees um, and they go out and they get pollen and bring it back. So all of those things are behavior, things that the bees do. Habitat, we know habitat. Where does your insect live? And you can write about um, the environment that it likes to live in. Like, does it like to be in the woods? Does it like to be cool? Does it like to be hot? Um, does it need to um, be born on a certain type of plant? Like uh, we'll talk about silkworms. They need, and a lot of caterpillars we've talked about, they have to be, the, the adult lays the eggs on the plant that the, in, that the babies are gonna need to eat right when they hatch, right? So um, do they need a certain type of, of plant right, right from the start for, to be able to eat? Habitat is where the insect lives. And I, you could include in this habitat area what parts of the world or the country or both um, that your insect can be found in, okay? And remember up here, we're trying to find the weight and length and the family name for the insect. Usually that's like a Latin name. The, it's like the big, um, you know, like we are homo sapiens. That's kind of. So it's not a big deal if you can't find one of these, but if you do run across it, write it down. Life cycle, ooh, I have something to show you about the life cycle. Remember, we've been talking about metamorphosis in class, right? And this is kind of a cool diagram. We've talked about how complete metamorphosis is when an organism, an insect, something, changes from a very different state into a totally different state into a totally different state. Like this, it looks like a beetle, right? This looks totally different from this, right? And our, we talked about our mealworms. They'll go undergo complete metamorphosis. The mealworms that we see now in their little habitats are not what they will look like when they are adults they will be darkling beetles, right? They'll look totally different. They'll undergo complete metamorphosis. And that song that we sang about um, tadpoles and about butterflies, they undergo a complete metamorphosis, totally different as a, a baby or as a youth when you compare it to what they look like as an adult, right? But incomplete metamorphosis is like our silkworm eggs, right? Right now they're an egg but when they hatch, they will be like a little miniature version of an adult, 
right? And we talked about how humans, we don't undergo metamorphosis, but if we were to uh, think about humans as being in one of these kind of processes, we're more like, we're more like these insects, right? That, that babies have legs and arms and a head and all those different features, noses and ear, all those different features that adults have too. Our bodies change as we grow, um, but we're not like a totally different thing as a baby compared to a little kid, compared to a teenager, compared to an adult, right? Our bodies still have the same general parts. So you can think about it kind of like that. So if you can find information about the life cycle of your insect, that would be really important information to include there. Diet, um, sometimes we hear the word diet, like we're going on a diet, that person is going on a diet and that means they're eating certain types of food, sometimes to lose weight. Diet means just the food that you eat. What is your diet? Your diet is, uh, is the things that you eat to live. And interesting facts, I cannot wait for this area in your research. Oh my gosh. That's why I gave you the whole back for interesting facts because I know you're gonna find a bajillion interesting facts about your insect. And if you're having a hard time finding information, let me know and I will help you, okay? So I'll help you find more websites, more books. We will track down info because we are researchers, all right? Okay, good job.